I had a program director at a radio station email me today and say, hey, I've been thinking about adding Come Jesus Come from Stephen McWhorter, but you sent it in August and it went for ads in early September and I, I just feel like that's a long time ago. Is it over? <laughs> Hold up one minute. We are just getting started. We lost two months to Christmas music, Nat King Cole, Bing Crosby, Mariah Carey. I don't know if y'all played her. Probably should have. When January started, a bunch of people came on board. We just had to fish in Atlanta, fish in Portland, KVMV, McAllen, Texas, Family in Green Bay, Wisconsin, also WPER in Virginia. We got KZKZ, Enforcement Arkansas. Like, there's been all these stations, about 48 of them total. Been in heavy rotation on K-Love since November. Continuing to have scores in research over a 4.0. His social media stats are wild. It's incredible to see how many people are connecting with Come Jesus Come, but also with Stephen McWhorter as an artist, as he just continues to be about the stuff that actually counts. Huge song score numbers, 4.28 overall score, and it's top 10. This is a top 20 song at Christian Radio right now. Shout out Ryan Springer for asking. He knows what's up now, and now he's adding it on February 23rd. Yeah, so many reasons to play it, but the biggest one is because of what we feel inside of ourselves when we follow Jesus. There's this longing people feel in this song. It connects deeply with those who realize that one day, He's gonna make all things new. All the pain, all the trouble, all the tears, all the sadness, all gone. And he's gonna make it new and we'll be with him forever. So come Jesus, come, please. And maybe before the presidential election, that'd be pretty nice. <laughs>